Hey there, crazy kids. I am the Good Old Gamer, and we're back to 11 more Minecraft. Alrighty, yes, I know I can still upgrade up to fine, and I'm not going to, because I will wait until I have to upgrade all the mods when the game upgrades again. Anyway, it feels so neat having enchanted stuff. Smite 1, Fire Aspect 1. Unbreaking 2, Efficiency 2, Chopper. <laughs> Digger, Unbreaking 1, Efficiency 1. I know they're low enchantments, but it's still nice to have them. Uh, feather Falling 1, Projectile Protection, Blast Protection, Projectile Protection, Aqua Affinity. Love that. Now we only have one level left of experience, because we wasted all our levels. We wasted too many... Levels of experience, naming things. Uh, if I had one suggestion to Mojang to uh, tweak the anvil thing, it would be to give the naming of items a low level of uh, experience, like maybe one or two levels at most if you're just renaming the item. Uh, I understand if you're combining items or you're combining enchantments or whatever that the experience level should be pretty costly for that because you can make some things kind of OP eventually. But just renaming an item should be fairly low on the scale, I think. I mean, for me, as a casual player who's not really big on enchantments anyway, that's mainly what I would use the anvil for because if i wanted to repair my items i just repair them in the crafting area right here because you can still do that or i just you know keep making new items and wouldn't bother repair them in the first place because repairing them in the anvil even just using extra iron or whatever instead of you know two things together repairing them takes up way too much experience so i wouldn't even i wouldn't even really bother doing that I'd still just repair regularly. So what do you use the anvil folder for to rename stuff? So that's that's my little take on it. Maybe in the future... I know the anvil was just recently put on the game, so maybe in the future it'll be updated a little better, but right now kind of sucks. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get up here. I want to get up here to the very top of this. And then... Come on, get over there. Thank you. Get up to the very top of this here. And then... Um... And then... Come on! Let me up. Ah! I want to get to the very... <laughs> very top and then chop it down because this is a two by two which means it's going to be four logs of wood for every single level here so it's going to provide a lot uh, I guess this will count as the top <laughs> yay nice thing about jungle trees, and obviously I haven't really done too much with them, but the nice thing about them is that I'm pretty sure they don't have branches, so I can literally just cut in a circle all the way down, and that's it. I don't have to worry about going extra branches or anything. Choppa is doing its job, chopping down the trees. <laughs> this is awesome. This is kind of even better than uh, than um, having the timber mod. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe they do have a little bit of branches. Hmm. 
could you imagine having the timber mod and then getting to the top of the tree to cut it down and then falling like the 40 blocks or whatever that the <laughs> that the tree's height is <laughs> like if you forgot you had the timber mod on or something <laughs> Oh, look at all the logs. This is awesome. If you can get away with getting jungle wood, like if you don't need specific wood for designs or whatever, for like wood planks or whatever, if you can get away with jungle wood just to have, just to have wood for tools and stuff, definitely go after the jungle wood because look at this. How many do I have? Stack and a half, almost a stack and a half of jungle wood from a single tree. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Stack and a half from a single tree. I don't even know how many trees you'd have to get, normal trees you'd have to get to get that much. That's pretty awesome. Did I get any... I don't think I have any saplings from the jungle trees yet, so I want to get a sapling if it'll fall. Come on. But maybe they won't fall. I don't know. They should fall. Be nice and fall. Jungle tree saplings. I guess it's okay if they don't get one. I c There's plenty other jungle trees here. I'm sure I can get one. Nah. I guess it's not going to be nice to me. Oh well. Anyways, i got plenty of wood now to last me a little while. And when I get low, I'll just chop down another jungle tree and have another stack and a half. <laughs> I may be running low on food, though. That's alright, I got a river right here. I'll just have to go fishing. That'll probably be the next big thing I end up doing. Alright, so I got wood for the roof. Now I need... Um, cobblestone. But we'll go ahead and get the rafter things put up. Now, for me, it didn't matter so much about what color the wood planks are for the rafters, because this will probably rarely, if ever, be up here on the roof, but um, I got the jungle wood just because, again, you chop down a single tree and that's it. You're done. So it was quick and easy. Didn't have to chop down a bunch of trees, just one was enough. So I went with it. And the jungle wood's just different enough from regular wood planks that it does give a sort of different feel, which is nice. Now I'm putting down the rafters, so to speak, here for a couple reasons. One, this is where the roof tiles from the cobblestone stairs are going to sit. One's going to sit here along the side, and then the next one will sit up top, and that'll be a good starting frame point for the rafters. And another is that it spreads out the space as far as I can get, so that we can include maybe another rafter or two here in the middle, depending on what I've done with the building here. One, two, three, four, five, six... So if I do that, actually, would that be too close? Actually, I can't do that because that's there. So scratch that. Let's see, maybe it'll be better if I figure it out this way. Well, I was hoping to put down 
two rafters, but um, a couple of rafters in the middle, but I don't know. I guess they don't have to be symmetrical. It just it's always nice in Minecraft to build your buildings with a symmetrical uh, idea in mind. At least if you're not going for a purposely off-centered type building, you know, like a half circle and a square or something, you know, off center sort of thing. Oh, and I forgot another thing I need to do when I get up here. I need to take these off on the very ends because this is where more wool is going to be to fill out the um, the sides. I don't need to move it in one on the sides here because this is where the roof is going to start so nobody's going to be able to see them from the outside. Um, let's see. I guess I could do this and we'll just have a double in the middle. Because in the real building, I couldn't put anything like chests or anything on the ceiling area that I'm walking on here. Because this is, in the real building, this is really weak stuff. I don't, I don't know what the actual construction term for it is. But it's not really much thicker than plywood. It's like a false ceiling sort of thing, so you couldn't even really stand on it, let alone put any storage thing on it. So we always had to set everything on the rafters anyway, so. I guess that'll be good enough. I like the different sounds of walking on the planks compared to like down here and stuff. That's cool. All right. Now, obviously, the rafters mainly support the ceiling area more than the roof. Uh, it basic in the real building, they were basically here for um, to support this false roof or whatever. That's basically what they were to keep it held up and stuff. Um, so I'm not really worried about making rafters go up along the the roof area. Although I might do that once I get the roof put in, I might come back up here and do that, but I don't I don't know. Maybe I'll let you guys think about that. Tell me what you think. All right. Now I do I I I do realize that I left my diamond pickaxe without enchantments, but I do want to get uh an efficient efficiency enchantment on it just because I've been thinking about uh, making nether portals and stuff, and I'm going to need more obsidian. Because I want to make another portal here somewhere, by home. And then I want to make another portal over at the spider dungeon area, because that should be far enough away that the portals will work as sort of a connector inside the nether. And then I'll probably want another portal a few other places too. If I find anything interesting exploring over land, or if I just want to make another portal away, away, aways in the uh, nether and come out in a new area. So I'll need more obsidian for that. And since obsidian takes forever and a day to mine up, even with a diamond pick, I'd like an efficiency enchantment on it. But um, anyways, we got our rafters done. So now I should put some of this wood away. Uh, put that away. I don't need that. Um, I didn't put any... I'll have to check when I get back over there. I need cobblestone. We'll do this. Put 
we'll just make a bunch of stairs. I don't know how many we'll need, but I'm sure they'll come in handy. I like to make cobblestone-ish roofs, so... Oh, I make four of them. Uh, yeah, we don't need that many. <laughs> I only need maybe a couple stacks. I don't really need quite that many. That would that'd be a bit much. Yeah, a couple stacks will do it. What do I have for food? A couple pieces of bread. I got ten pork chops left. We're good for a little while yet, I guess. I need to check the rafters, make sure I didn't put any oak wood on there, because it looks like inventory tweaks put in the oak wood in my inventory. For some reason. I don't think I did. Doesn't look like I did. Alright, so... Now the trick is getting... getting the uh, roof done. Hopefully I can do it from here. Looks looks like I can. That's good. Um, yeah, we'll have it hang over one. I don't remember if the actual building has the roof have an overhang in the front and back, but I think it looks better, so that's what I'm going to do. Ah, uh, don't do that, game. Don't do that. Sorry, I know I'm not the fastest builder out here, but we will survive. We will find the way. So I found some help from Mindfiend, good buddy Mindfiend. Uh, he sent me a message telling me a way to get the double iron doors working to open together. I haven't looked at it, uh, the picture he sent, to figure it out yet, but I will get to it eventually, as soon as we get to the, um, as soon as we get this part of the build done on the building. As soon as we, get, basically as soon as we get the building finished, overall I will mess with it, because it's not a big thing, it's just something I would like to have happen. Um, but thank you, Mindfiend, for the assistance, for the advice. It's good to finally have help in that area, because I am terrible with redstone. <laughs> and that's just a perfect example of why I never bother with it, because it's such a headache. But uh, apparently there is a way to make it work, and so if I figure it out, I will definitely let you guys know. Well, you guys will know anyway, because if I start working on it, I will record the whole process, and you guys can experience that learning process along the way with me. Alright. Actually, I might have to make some rafters anyway, just because after this point I won't have anything to rest the stairs on, on the higher levels. I may never actually use this attic area. Um, the point in making it is not so that I can use it. It's just because A, the building in real life that I'm basing this on had it. And I'm just trying to be true to that design. And B, if I should ever need it, it's here. You know, I won't have to I make a second storage room building if I don't want to, even though I probably at some point will just for the convenience of it if it needs to be somewhere else. Uh, but it's neat just to have this here anyway. 
so actually what I should do is get the wool for the two sides the back and the whoops the back and the front um, and then that way I can put the stairs on there that's an idea I promise until I get my sheep farm ranch thing going I won't use wool a lot in future builds because I I realize now what a pain in the butt it is to constantly have to go get wool whoops stop placing blocks you're wasting my pick I think after I get the um, building here that we're working on, I think after I get that done, we will do some uh, more exploration and stuff before we get back to building something else like the reed farm that I want to do. Uh, just because, you know, when you play Minecraft, especially for when you're making videos for YouTube and stuff, you need to keep the activities varied and all that. and not only do I not want to get too confined to the same things for my own playing, but I want to keep things interesting for you guys. So I think we will go back to maybe some land exploration, maybe go try and find a village or something. Because uh, it'd be good to get a village located and be able to trade with the villagers and stuff. That's another, th that's another reason why I want to... Uh, get the nether portals going is so that if we do find a village and it happens to be ages away from here we can uh, we can use the nether to get to it faster back and forth for trading and all that I don't even know why I'm being so careful going down the hills. I have feather falling on my boots. I can probably jump another block or two down and not worry about it. Actually, I could do that anyway with the regenerating health. It doesn't matter if you take a few hits of fall damage one way or the other anyway, but... What do I have for wool? Eight. I'm gonna need more than that. Probably, probably don't need a stack worth. Maybe not even half a stack worth. I'll try and get as much as I can though. So how are you guys liking the new updates and stuff? I'm still getting used to everything. I, You guys have seen pretty much all of the gameplay that I have in Minecraft. I generally don't play too much um, off camera, especially now. So I haven't encountered witches or their huts or um, other things in the update. And I only just now got the anvil and stuff that I've been messing with, so... I'm sort of new to a lot of the new updates that have come in, so I'm still kind of getting used to them. I'm still getting used to the sounds and stuff, but uh, just I was wondering what you guys were thinking about the updates, how you've been liking them and stuff. I like, I like most of the updates. I like the new sounds. I'm just not used to them. I like the concept of the anvil, and I like the certain things you can do with it. I really like the fact that you can rename items. You can make them customizable. I really like that. Uh, especially if you have things like maybe two different diamond picks with different enchantments on them. And you don't want to combine them, but you want to have them separate. Like you want one pick that has fortune on it and one pick that has silk touch on it specifically. 
for different reasons, you know, and you want to know which one it is without having to uh, um, constantly look at it all the time, uh, you know, in your inventory and stuff, or having to remember which is which. I like being the idea that you can customize your items with names because in an upcoming update, in one of the latest snapshots, uh, when you scroll over items in your quick bar, a little uh, name tag thing comes up right above the armor and, you know, hunger bars and stuff for just like a minute or something, 30 seconds or whatever, the name comes up. Which means if you have two customizable, if you have two customized tools, like two diamond picks or two axes or two swords or whatever in your quick bar you'll know which is which by the name when you scroll over it and it comes up on the screen so so i like the concept and the, and the idea of the anvil and i like the fact that you can repair items using you know whatever the base material the item's made from iron diamond stone whatever but they need to do some tweaking on the uh, level use, especially when it comes to naming items. There's no reason that I can think of to justify the huge uh, experience level it takes just to rename an item. Because sometimes it takes like eight or nine levels. And it's just like, come on, really? You know, some of the enchantments I had to put on those items didn't take that much experience. But I like the anvil. I haven't seen the witches yet. I don't really care to. I'm not bothered by them. All they do is attack you, so it's kind of pointless. They don't do anything other than be a hostile mob to you, so I don't really see the point. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't mind the bats. They kind of add atmosphere to the caves, which is good. Endermen new sounds are freaky as hell. Scare, they scare the daylights out of me, especially when I first heard them. Then they get that weird screaming thing going on. I kind of thought my game was just lagging. But um, I've heard them do that in other people's videos. So it's like, that must be an intended sound for them to get freaked out. It's just like, oh, great. <laughs> All right, I'm out of wool, so I'll have to get more. Okay. Wait, how many more do I need? So, two there. Okay, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So I need at least sixteen more wool. Hey, they regrew their wool already. Yay. I'm interested in the carrots and the potatoes. Yeah, I just remembered those. Because <laughs> I haven't had them in the game yet. I don't know how many zombies I've killed, but I still haven't had them in the game yet. That's another reason I want to find a villager, uh, NPC village, is because not only are the villagers there to trade with, which I also haven't done, by the way, but they um, they have potatoes and carrots in their fields now instead of just wheat. And it'd be good to get a crop of each of those because, well, potatoes I don't really care so much about. They're another food source, but whatever. But uh, carrots are what you use to breed and, you know, move the pigs around and stuff, so that will be good to have. I 
and you use seeds now, regular grass seeds, to move and breed the chickens. And um, I think cows still use wheat, which would make the most sense because real cows eat hay and stuff, so. I also think it'd be kind of fun to make a carrot on a stick, which you can do now, to ride the pig around and control it. We've got a couple saddles now from that spider dungeon, so we can maybe put those to good use. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, another thing I been meaning to ask and I keep forgetting let me know if you guys like these unintentionally longer videos um, I know some videos I usually try and keep the videos between 20 minutes and half an hour but lately I sort of totally get lost in the playing the game with you guys and I forget what time it is so that I've had a few videos end up like 45 minutes or an hour um, I guess I could split them up in editing into shorter videos but then you guys wouldn't have the intros and outros and stuff it would just like suddenly quit and I don't know I'm not a big fan of that and I haven't really heard any complaints one way or the other about the longer videos so I don't know I mean it's the same amount of footage you'd get all the, t all the time anyway it's not like I'd play the game less or anything it would just instead of two or three videos you get one hour long video or whatever sometimes just because I don't I don't keep track of time or whatever cuz I don't have to as long as YouTube's nice to me and get, gives me that privilege I need to be getting back home. Thirteen wool. I need three more. Actually, my next build project before the reed farm is going to be a little... Um, patio slash stairway thing down here to make things go easier but it works for now come get me you're dead yeah that's right burn spider fire aspect is awesome Oh, we can set a creeper on fire. Two creepers. Yeah, you burn. Get away from me. Oh, you didn't burn long. Nope. Die. Thank you. God. Creepers take entirely too long to kill, even with the enchantments. No. Damn it! I don't want creeper craters everywhere. Ah. <sighs> Hate that. <sighs> Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. I should get that mod. I would have got the mod before when I adjusted, but it hadn't updated yet. I should go and get it again. Alright, sheepies. You should provide me with the last that I need, and I think I have what I need, but I'm going to get you guys while I'm here. Alright. We should have all we need now. Nah. 
Have you guys seen the new snapshots coming out? You can put enchantments on books now. So you can save them for later or whatever, I guess. Like if you wanted to put a certain enchantment or set of enchantments on a sword, well, on like a diamond sword, but you didn't have the diamonds to make the sword yet, you could put the enchantments on the book and save it for later, and then that way if you die, you don't... Um, you don't lose the, the enchantment levels because you've already made the enchantments you just put them on the book instead of whatever item you wanted to put it on, the sword or whatever. Uh, here we go. Okay. Of course, another good thing about making your roof out of stairs is that enemy mobs don't spawn on stairs. Wow. Really, game? You're going to be that annoying, are you? Really? Alright, well, with the lag and stuff, I think that's a suggestion to me from my computer that I should end the video. It's probably getting fairly long at this point, 30 or 40 minutes, I'd imagine. So, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. I am the good old gamer. We've been loving more Minecraft. Next video, we will finish up the building. Stay tuned for that. Bye bye for now.